morning. It is about 11 o'clock um, and today I've decided I'm going to have a nice self-care day. Today is the first day in a wee while that I've not got anything to do, I've not got any plans, not got any work, nothing. Um, obviously it's a pandemic, it's not as if I'm being that busy but usually there's something I have to do every day, like a wee thing and today I don't have anything. Hi Martha! Hello! I've also been feeling really exhausted recently to the point that it's like doesn't feel normal to be as tired as I felt recently. Hello Martha! Here's Martha come to say hello! And I've had a couple of days where I felt really anxious, just not been feeling totally myself um, and not been feeling too great to be honest. And I think it must be a combination of having to stay in all the time, not being able to challenge myself, like um, not really having a focus it feels like. I just feel really exhausted all the time and a little bit ill all the time. Um, so it's just been hard. I mean it's been hard for everybody in different ways and in the same ways and I just feel like today I'm going to just do exactly what I feel like all day long and it's going to be glorious. Oh Martha that's a horrible noise. So the first thing I feel like doing today is going for a nice walk. I've deliberately not had my coffee this morning so that I can have a nice coffee when I'm out. I might go to the bookshop, I might go to some charity shops and just like see where it takes me. That sounds really nice. Um, and hopefully after you watch this video you feel like having a day like this as well and just taking it slow. It looks like it might rain but I'm going to do it anyway. now I seem to have a little bit of anxiety when I went out there I've just been I don't know locked down recovering from agoraphobia all of these things makes life a bit difficult at the moment I know that you know I've sometimes felt like maybe I'm going back a step maybe you know things aren't um maybe I'm going to go back to where I was before blah -de blah but I know that's not true and I just want to remind you if you're feeling like that that's not true little steps Every day helps so much and even though I felt anxious, I still went along to the bookshop and I bought myself a book actually. Um, I wanted to say one of my goals of the day is to drink at least this. Ideally I'd drink two or three of these but I'm starting slowly. I honestly am the worst at drinking water so I'm starting slowly but I really want to drink all of this at least and then some tea on top of this. So this is one of my goals is to drink water. I might have a little bit of lunch just now and um, I went to the shop. I bought um, these, which are chicken gyoza. Um, I've never actually had these before, but they look alright. So I'm going to have these, I think. 
It's in a very compostable thing as well. That's quite good. They were quite expensive, but I thought it's a self-care day. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and I got some grapes as well, because they're just so easy. If you're not feeling like you've got loads of energy, but you want to eat uh, kind of healthy grapes, put a just wash them a little bit and they're good to go. Also in the bookshop, I did get myself a book because um, self-care day and also I found it really hard to walk 10 minutes away from my house today. Some days I find it difficult, some days I don't. Um, today was just a difficult day, I guess. Um, I think because my IBS has been a bit worse recently, it makes me more anxious because I think, what if I'm out in public and I get really bad pains? Because my pains can be like, you know, really bad. So yeah, but I did it and it was fine. Nothing bad happened. Um, so I bought myself a book. I actually got a Christmas book because I want to, at some point next month, do a 24 hour readathon and I wanted it to be all Christmas books and I thought this one looked really good as far as Christmas books go. Um, it has Olivia Coleman and that's just what got me but apparently it's different celebrities um, and different people talking about their Christmas day and I thought that was really interesting. So there's Graham Norton, Stephen Fry, Mel Streep, Olivia Coleman, Bill Bailey, Amelia Clark, Caitlin Moran, they're all people that I do like. Greg Wise and Emma Thompson um, and apparently 25p from every book uh, goes to Crisis and the Refugee Council which sounds great. I believe it's um, the woman said that it's about like different celebrities and them describing their Christmas day and I just thought that sounded really interesting. I thought that sounded good so um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. It has the smell of a new book. I like it. So the next thing I want to do today is a little bit of cleaning. Um, I'm not feeling like if you're somebody that has an invisible illness, you know fatigue is a massive part of that. Sometimes you're feeling like, oh, really high energy, like I can do things like a normal person. Sometimes you're just so no energy that it feels like you can't do anything. And today I'm kind of mid, I feel. So I'm gonna put a timer on my phone. This is something that I do sometimes that helps when I'm trying to get some stuff done, some cleaning stuff done. Hello, angel girl. Is I put a timer on my phone. So I'm gonna put a timer on my phone for half an hour and see how much I can get done. My asthma is also really bad at the moment. So it's best to try and have as dust free an environment as possible. Um, I've had to go back on my brown inhaler and my blue inhaler. So a little reminder for my asthma friends to take your inhaler today. It really does help. Okay, I actually feel much better now. I feel much better now. I also just ordered a KFC. <laughs> um, but I did order a salad and maybe some chips and gravy because the gravy from KFC is just the best thing ever. Um, ooh, this salad looks good. 
I mean, it's not exactly a healthy salad, but it looks really nice. Um, and you might be like, why the hell would you get a salad from KFC? But why the hell not? Um, and also, I just didn't really feel like cooking. So I thought I'd do this. I think I might re-watch You, because I've not watched that in ages, and I feel like I've kind of forgotten it, so it's kind of like watching it again. Who else does that? I want to know. That is really good. Ooh, I definitely recommend a salad from KFC. It's still got the chicken and stuff, and then it's just tomato, dressing, lettuce, sweet corn, all that stuff. I just had a really lovely call with some friends, um, did some meditation stuff and um, chatted and played games and all these lovely things. Um, I'm now going to go for a bath to end my evening off. I'm going to go for this sleepy bubble bar, if you've not ever seen it before. This is what it looks like. How beautiful is it? A lovely cloud. And it just smells so good. Um, and the book I'm reading at the moment is, it's okay, it's not okay to feel blue and other lies. Um, it has loads of different um, people in it that have written little bits. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm on page 356. So that's the plan for the rest of the evening. It's been actually a really nice day, like just focusing only on self-care. Um, I did a wee bit of work, uh, not loads today, um, but it just feels like I've tidied it over a little bit um, into tomorrow when I can actually properly work, but it's been such a lovely day, hasn't it, Martha? Are you going to come and say goodbye? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, oh my baby. My baby. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's inspired you to have a lovely self-care day of your own. Um, it's the most important thing we can do right now. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!